Well, good evening. Welcome to Second Baptist Church. Welcome, Virginia Street. Welcome, Journey Church. Welcome home, folks, from Second Baptist. Did I miss anybody? Restoration House. We're glad you're here. Amen. Well, this is going to be fun. Just folks from different churches joining together to lift up. We worship the same Lord. Let's stand and worship him together this evening.
seated. We're going to hear from our friends at Virginia Street.
ministry. That was awesome. Fantastic. I tell you, my name is Brother David Tucker. I'm pastor here at Second Baptist, and it is our great privilege and our honor to be able to welcome together so many folks from our community. Restoration House, Virginia Street, Journey Church. We are so grateful to have all of you gathering together tonight so that we can sing praises to our Lord. This, this is a gymnasium that we are in, in case you hadn't noticed. And I can tell you that basketball's been played here, and basketball has been king sometimes in this place. I remember breaking up a fight between three uh, third graders over there when the basketball game got too intense, you know. But when the people of God come into a place, it does not matter what the place is because God comes in to join us. And because he's here, it's going to be a great night. Now, I, I would be remiss if I did not stop and just acknowledge some of the pastors that are here. And I want you to stand as I, I call out your name. Pastor Ford, if you will, stand please, sir. Pastor Vince, if you will, stand please, sir. Brother Kamar, Brother Kamar, where are you at? There he is back there. Amen. I, I want you all to see these wonderful men of God. I get to be fed by talking with these men and learning from these men. And I want you to recognize if they're connected to your church or to your fellowship, you need to know the witness that they carry, not just within your area, but within other churches in our community. I, I have learned from these men, and I appreciate you gentlemen being here tonight with us. Thank you so much. Well, tonight is all about God and singing his praises. And I know on the bulletin it says there's a spot for a message. And I'm not telling you I ain't going to preach, but I am going to say I'm not looking towards it. I think tonight should be a song night. Just let God's people do the message and sing those praises. So remember, as these things are going forward, as you're listening or you're singing along, remember you're preaching. So let it go forth with real power, all right? Let's have a word of prayer. Lord God, we thank you for tonight. We thank you for the privilege of being in this place with you. Lord, wherever two or three are gathered, you are in our midst, and we are so grateful that you would choose to join with us. Father, we are not righteous. We are not holy. But, Father, we are sinners who have come before you in need of salvation, and you have granted it. You gave your son to provide it. And Father, I am so grateful that you have provided for us the opportunity to come and give thanks to you this evening. You lead all that is said and done here and let it be given for your glory and your glory alone. In Jesus' name I ask it. Amen. There's a reason I can see. There's a reason for this life inside me. One name above all names. Jesus. Yes, it's Jesus. There's a reason for this hope. There's a reason for this peace that I know. One worthy of all praise. Jesus, yes, it's Jesus. I will lift my hands.
Well, you, you may not have known that one. It's a good one to learn, but I know you know this one. So let's stand and sing Amazing Grace together. seated. Think about that. When we've been there 10,000 years, no less days to sing his praise than when we first begun, all because of what? God's amazing grace. Don Young, come on and sing for us now. Okay, uh, I'm going to try to play an old southern gospel quartet song. I, I can't do the bass, you know, let us, you know, but I'll, I'll, I'll do the best I can on it. And maybe a few words of another song, that'll be all right to y'all. I'm a little bit sore. I babysitted a little five-year-old boy today, and he liked to beat me to death with a toy gun. I'm telling you. I once was lost in sin, but 
Jesus took me in And then a little light from heaven to my soul It made my heart in love It wrote my name above And just a little talk, oh, just a little walk Jesus makes it right Have a little talk with Jesus Tell him all about our trouble Oh, he'll hear our faintest cry He'll answer by and by Feel a little prayer will turn in No little fire is burning Have a little talk, oh, just a little walk with Jesus Makes it right of uh, precious Lord take my hand and um, <clears throat> been a while since I played it so just I may have to make up the words as I go along <laughs>
Thank you, Don Young. I was a little over anxious to get up and sing about the greatness of God. Let's sing, How Great Thou Art, stand and sing it together. She's got to get her rug back. Got... Isn't this fun? Oh Lord my God, when I am awesome wonder, consider all the worlds thy hands have made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, I plow throughout the universe's play. Then sings my song.
splendor of the King. He's clothed in majesty. Let all the earth rejoice. All the earth rejoice. He wraps himself in light. And darkness tries. about the greatness of God. Amen. Caitlin Wilson's coming to sing about the goodness of God.
I don't know. <laughs> there it is. So I want to just share very, very quickly a small piece, and it's not a sermon. It's, it's something that I want you to see before you leave, okay? We were talking this morning at second about John chapter 5 and the miracle of the healing of the lame man at the pool of Bethsaida. He was lame for 38 years. 38 years. And Jesus comes by and he heals the lame man. Now, I want you to think about it. In this town, he's been lame for 38 years. Does anybody in town not know that he's a lame man? 38 years. And so, he gets healed and Jesus says, take up thy mat and what? Walk. Walk. Now, the Pharisees and the Sadducees, they see the man who has been lame, did I mention, 38 years. And when they see the lame man, they say, what are you doing carrying your mat? Why are you carrying a mat on the Sabbath? You can't carry a mat on the Sabbath. And they fail to see he's walking. So here's what I want you to do. And this is the whole sermon in a nutshell. I want you to stand up and look around. And I want you to see the miracle that is around you. And I want you to quit looking at the mat you see in society. I want you to quit looking at the bedroll that you keep seeing on the news. I want you to quit looking at all the things that tell you we are divided that we cannot love one another, that we cannot stand with one another, we cannot help one another. I want you to take all of those things and put them aside. That's the mat. But we are tonight living the miracle. And by the way, I'm serious. Stand up and look around. Do you see these faces? Do they look like you? Heavens no. And that's what heaven's like. Amen. Amen. 
I'm going to ask now for uh, Virginia Street's choir to come on up and to lead us once again as we close out our service. And when we finish, yeah, y'all don't need to sit down. You know you don't need to sit down. Pastor Fort, when we are finished, if you would, come on up. And uh, uh, if he'll give you, Rodney, if you'll give him your mic, and then you close us out with a word and a prayer. Thank you, my brother. Second Baptist, any of y'all singers from Second Baptist, y'all can come on up and join us. Y'all know that song, the song. Anybody from Second Baptist, y'all sang this with us before. Just come on and join in. Sopranos on our right, altos on the left. If you don't know what you sing, come stand by me. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship with one accord. Every praise, say every praise, is to our God. Sing hallelujah to our God. Glory hallelujah is to our God. Every praise. Every praise, Every praise is to our God. To our God. Come on. Every praise, Every praise is to our God. To our God. Every, word Every word of worship with one accord. One accord. Every, praise, Every praise, say Every praise, Every praise is to our God. To our God. Come on, everybody. Sing hallelujah, Sing hallelujah. to our God. Glory, hallelujah, is to our God. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Come on, we're going to take it up again. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship with one accord. Every praise, say every praise is to our God. Sing hallelujah to our God. Glory, hallelujah, is to our God. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Listen. Every praise, 
Every praise, every praise is to our God. Come on, put your hands together. Our God is worthy to be praised. Do you believe it? This is God's love in action right here. God, my Savior, God, my healer, He's my deliverer, yes, He is, yes, He is, God, my Savior, God, my healer, He's my deliverer. Yes he, yes, he yes, he yes, he yes, he yes, he is. 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 Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship with one accord. Every praise. Every praise. Every praise. Every praise, all of my worship, every praise, when you see me shouting, every praise, every praise, every praise is to our God. Every praise is to our God. Let somebody praise God in this place. He's worthy of all the praise. As we get ready to close out tonight, I want to say how grateful I am to have had this privilege of sharing. If you've been blessed tonight, go ahead and give God some praise in this place. Oh, you can do better than that. You can do better than that because he's worthy of all the praise. As we get ready to close, I want to just pick up with what Brother David had just shared with us about in John, and I'm not going to be long. You don't have to take your seat. Just continue to stand. <laughs> Let me just share with you what he said was that there was a man who had been lame for 38 years, and when he left that place, he was told to take up his bed and walk. And they saw him, and they criticized him for carrying his mat. But let me tell you, people will criticize you because of the mats that we carry. But what I like about that text, and I want to just go just a little bit different. What he said was, and the scripture does not tell you that he laid that mat down. Amen. Although they criticized him, he continued to carry his mat. And you know what his mat became? It became a testimony yes. of what the Lord has done. Yes. God has done great things in this place tonight. And we are living testimonies of what the Lord can do. And I want you to leave here tonight carrying your mat and showing it wherever you go. And the mat reminds us of how great God has been. So as we leave tonight, let's think of the places God has brought us from. We may not have been there 38 years. We may not have been there 38 months, 38 days, maybe not even 38 minutes. But whatever you've been in. Just know it was God who delivered. And the same God who brought each one of us out is able to bring somebody else out. Tonight as we get ready to leave, there may be somebody in this building who do not have the relationship with Christ. I want you to know that you can come and know him as Lord and Savior. And tonight you can pick up your mat. I don't care where it is and what it has been. But if you want to walk with your mat and let your mat be your testimony, you can do that tonight if you come and you lay it at his feet. In the book called Pilgrim's Progress by John Bunyan, it teaches us in that book that Pilgrim, as he was making his way to the celestial city, he had to go by the cross. If you're going to that celestial city, you have to make your way to the cross. 
tonight as we leave and when we give this benediction, if there is anyone here who wants a relationship with Christ, it's not too late. You can come just as you are. Let's bow and close out with a word of prayer as we get ready to leave this place. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this another day. We thank you that you've allowed us this opportunity to come together to worship and to praise your name. We realize, Lord, that we've come from different walks of life, but we thank you for bringing us here. Through many dangers, toiled and snared, you brought us safe this far. And I thank you, dear God, for the churches that have come out tonight to worship together. And we thank you, dear God, that we were able to put all differences aside and to focus in on you. And now, Master, as we get ready to depart from this place, never let us leave your presence. Go with us and stand by us. Keep us and hold us. We pray your choice blessings upon those that are on their bed of affliction and those that are going through trials and tribulations. Be with them also, Lord, and let them know that you're ever near. And Master, we thank you for this fellowship. For we know that this is just a foretaste of what glory is going to be like. And when that day comes for you to call all of your children, we pray that we're in that number, that we'll hear your warm and welcome voice saying, servant, well done. We love you, Master, and we thank you for all things, but most of all, we thank you for Jesus. It's in his name we pray. Let everybody say amen. Amen, amen, amen. 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 God bless you, and may God keep you on tonight. Let us go in peace. Amen. Shake hands with somebody and tell them God loves you and so do I.